And this is problem number six of 2018 International Math Olympiad. I have posted a video lesson in which I explained the proof of the statement of this geometric problem. The proof in that video lesson uses the fact that point P of intersection of line segments AK and CG lies on segment BD. This is based on the observation that pairs of points H and K and F and G are symmetric over the central line O1, O2, and that point E of intersection of two angle bisectors, A, M, and C, L, of the respective angles C, A, K, and A, C, G, lies on segment B, D. In this video, we will provide the formal proof of this fact. There may be a simpler and shorter proof of this fact. But this is the algebraic proof that I have come up with. Let point Q be intersection of segment AC with segment BD, and point V be intersection of segment AK with BD, and point W be point of intersection of segment CG with BD. We will prove the lemma that line segments AK, CG, and BD are concurrent, and they intersect in one point P, with which points V and W are collocated. Triangles AKH and AVQ are similar, since segments QV and KH are parallel. Analogously, triangles CGF and CWQ are also similar. Then we apply the angle bisector theorem to triangles AVQ and CWQ, from which it follows that segments VE and WE are congruent if and only if two ratios AH to AK and CF to CG are equal. If we prove the equality of these two ratios, it will prove that line segments AK, CG, and BD have one point of intersection, point P. Then we introduce the system of coordinates X and Y as shown on the diagram, and we write our lemma using the X and Y coordinates of points A, C, H, K, F, and G. And by the construction of this configuration, the x-coordinate of point K is the same as x-coordinate of point H, and the y-coordinate of point K is minus y-coordinate of point H. And analogously, the x-coordinate of point G is the same as x-coordinate of point F, and the y-coordinate of point G is minus y-coordinate of point F. So the entire equality is expressed in terms of x and y coordinates of points A, C, F, and H. The less geometric fact that we use for this proof is that trapezoids C, C prime, F prime, F, and H, H prime, A prime, A, are similar, since their corresponding sides are either parallel or the same. Then we use the equality of ratios of their corresponding sides, and the rest is algebra.